Good morning, class. Good morning. Please yes. stand and forget princess. Please lead the prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, we must be faithful. We must be faithful. We must be Okay, please take your seats and please pick up the pieces of papers under your chairs and place properly. Okay, so Miss Dara, can we please check the attendance? Temperatura. Present. Miss uh, Risonado. <laughs> Present. Miss Pasola. Present. Okay, sir. No one is absent, sir. Okay, so we have perfect attendance. Last meeting, we discussed about organizing data. So, <laughs> Let's have a recap. What is organizing data? Yes, Mr. Reggie. Organizing data is the sorting, presenting, and arranging of collecting information. Exactly. What are different forms of organizing data, Ms. Berlini? The different forms of organizing data is textual form, tabular form, and graphic form. Very good. So, today class, I have prepared some some, something here in the table and Miss Dara, can you please help me paste it on the board? Please. Yes, sir. This thing in the table. Just arrange it from, from least to greatest number. Okay, thank you. So, class, what have you observed about these numbers, Miss Princess? The data given have different colors and it is arranged in order. Okay, very good. So, they are arranged in order. So, from 80, 80, 83, 84, and 85. So, from least to greatest. Class, if I'm going to use these five, five numbers, <laughs> And to uh, to the five students of I uh, to to the grades of five students, I can summarize these five numbers into a single number or a single data. So be with me this morning as I discuss to you about measures of central measures of central tendency. So measures of central tendency of an ungrouped data. So it is a single value that represents the center point of a data set. So uh, as what I have said that I will use these five five numbers to the five students and then I will summarize it into a single data or single number. So but before that please read our objective this morning. So Mr. Reggie can you please read the objectives? Objectives A. Define each of the three measures of central tendency B. Explain the importance of measures of central tendency in analyzing numerical data and C. Calculate each of the three measures of central tendency in the given numerical data Okay, class, so be with me this morning as I discuss about measures of central tendency because you will be asked to define each of the three measures of, measure, of, measures of trend, central tendency and <clears throat> you will also explain and then calculate each of the three measures of central tendency. Am I understood, class? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> so, class, there are three measures of central tendency, and the first one is the mean. So, the mean, it is also called an average. So, the sum of all the data scores divided by the number of scores. So, it is the formula. So, the formula is mean equals the sum. The summation of x over n. So the summation of x is the sum of all the data scores divided by the number of scores. So if, if for example, sum of all the data scores 80, 80, 83, 84, 85. So we have to add all those five numbers. And then the number of scores is how many how many data? So there are five data, so we will divide it into five. So that's the example. So for this example, number one. 
the grade of four students of four students in math were as follows so 80 81 83 and 84 so we will substitute this formula and and i substitute the data to the given formula so so mean is equal to summation of x so the sum of the four grade of students so 80 81 83 and 84 and then divide or divide the number of scores so how many how many scores there are four four, four. four. so divide four so 80, 81, 80 plus 81 plus 83 plus 84 divide 4 so 328 divide 4 so it was 82 so the mean grade of 4 students is 82 so do you understand the lesson class? yes sir how about I will give you another example okay so these are the 5 scores of the 5 players of the, bas of the basketball so can you find the mean for this Datas, Mr. Regic. Okay, very good. So you you add those five scores of the basketball players, and then you divide that on how the on how many are players. So five five players. So divide five. So the mean the mean of the mean scores of the basketball team is sixteen. So very good. So do you have any questions, class? No, sir. Okay, so we're going to the next type of measures of central tendency. Median. So it is the middle value. There is a rule when you when you have to find the median of the data. So the rule is arrange the data in order from least to greatest just just like what Miss Darrell did. So example is 10, 15, 20, 10, and 25. So we Apply the rule, the 10, 15, 20, and 25. So the mean, the mean of this is 15 because 15 is in the middle. So when we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the, the middle is the 15. So it is the median. So how about another example? So 18, 89, 80, 87, 89, 84, 83, and 85. So what is the median? 85. 85. So you apply the rule. So 83, 85, 87, and 89. So when when we Arrange the data in order from this to this. The 85 is in the middle. So, <clears throat> how about example number three? How about I? How about I add here another number? So, 91. What do you think is the median of this problem? 85 and 87. So. So 85 and 87 because they are even. They are even. So in order for us to find the median of this two, we have to we have to add this. We have to calculate the mean of these two data. So we will add this and then divide into two. two. So what will be? What do you think is the answer? 86. 86. Okay, very good. So. 86 is the answer because you apply the formula of the mean, the summation of x over n. So 85 plus 87 is equal to 172. 172 and then divided divided by 2. So 86. So 86 is the median. So am I understood? Yes, yes sir. Okay, now so let's proceed to the next. So the the mode. So, the mode is the third third measures of central tendency. So, it is the value that occurs most often. So, if the given data doesn't have a mode, write no mode and apply also the rule in finding a median. So, 
Example number one, so 80, 83, 87, 85, 84, 80. So what do you think is the mode of these data? 80, so very good. So when you arrange these six numbers, so 80, 80, 83, 84, 85, and 87. So, so what value offers the most? 80. So 80, because 80 has the pagita siya kadua. So 80 ang adua mode. So since 80 appears the most, so therefore 80 is the mode. So <clears throat> another example. So find the mode of the data. 21, 23, 25, 26, 24, 21, and 27. 21. So 21. So when we apply the rule of finding the median also, so we should also apply it to the mode. So 27. So the 21 is the value that appears the most. So therefore, 21 is the mode. So how about how about another example? 7 datas 21 and 25 21 and 25 so very good so if there are two numbers that appears the most so 20, 21 as two data 25 as two most data so you have to write write by modal so if there are three datas that appears the most so you have to write tri modal or Three or more than, so you will also write multi-modal. So if there are no, if there are no mode, what do you think is? If there are no data that appears the most, what do you think is? Is it? Is it no, no mode. No mode. Very good. So no mode. Okay, let's proceed to our group activity. So I have here a uh, paper. So. You have to you have to group yourself into nine. So so you have five minutes to collect this data. So I'll give you this paper and then you will ask your group mates, ask the following questions and record it. So number one question is what is your shoe size? And then you have to you have to find the, the mean of the shoe size of your group mates and then the median and the mode so you have to compute and you have to cooperate with your group and then number two question is what is your age so you have also to collect data about your group mate so you collect the age so and then you have to compute it you have to compute the mean the median and the mode so i'll give you this paper so you have five minutes to answer this group activity okay one minute 30 seconds oh. 10 seconds 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Time's up Please pass your papers and I will check those activity Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So, do you understand our lesson class? Yes, yes sir. sir. So, Mr. Reggie, what do you think is the three measures of central tendency? The three measures of central tendency is the main, median, and mood. Very good. So, what is the formula of the mean, Miss 
Princess. <laughs> mean equals summation of x over n. <laughs> How about the form? How about the rule in finding the median, Miss Berlin? Oh. Mission, arrange the data from in order. In order, so very good. So you have to arrange the data in order to find the median. And, and how about what do you think you will write if the data doesn't have a mode, Miss Darren? Um, we have to write no mode, sir. No mode. So I am going to read it. I am going to repeat my discussion. I will just review. So when when we when we find the mean, you have to add the scores. So add the scores and then divide the number of scores. So just like this. So 80, 81, 83, 84, and then divide the number of on how many scores? So four. So always remember that this is the formula in finding the mean of the n-group data. So the mean of this four, four grades of students is 82. So when we apply the formula summation of x, summation of the grades of the students, and then <coughs> divided by how many students? So four students. So 328 divided four, so 82. So it is the mean 82. And then when we, when we also have to find the median or the middle value, you have to, to apply the rule. So arrange the data in order from least to greatest. And then you have to find the middle value. So 15 is the middle value because it, is, it places in the middle. So, and the mode is, it is the value that occurs most often. So if the value has, if, if, nagbalik-balik ang usaka number, so you have to write it, the, you, have, you have to write that number because it is the mode. So just like this, 80, 80, so there are two 80s. So it is the value that appears the most, so therefore it is the mode. Okay, do, do you have any questions? No, okay, so let's have an, it will be an activity. So, Get one half sheet of paper, crosswise, and then this is the direction. The data below shows the score of students. So this is the scores of the students on the monthly examination. And then analyze the given data and answer the questions below using the three measures of central tendency, which is the mean, median, and mode. So you have to calculate these data. So number one question is, what appears to be the most median? So, what is the median? And then how many students fail below median? And then number two, which occurs frequently appears? So, what is the mode? And then number three is calculate the mean of this data, the monthly scores of the student. Okay, you have 10 minutes to answer. Okay, pass the papers. Thank you. Okay. So I'll check this. So do you have any questions? Okay, for your assignment, you have to you pass this next meeting. So search about the measures of central tendency of group data. So today we discuss the group data. And then the next meeting, we'll have to discuss that and the group data. The group data, measures of general tendency. So write it on a one more sheet of paper. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you, class. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay, thank you.